Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, uh, welcome to your general love readings for the week of the 1st to the 7th, 2018. For singles, couples, married, anyone in between, or someone that the universe wants to give message to for their general love life. I've shuffled the cards a lot before being on camera because I don't want to take up too much time shuffling. But if this reading does not resonate with you, you can always check your rising moon, sun, and Venus sign. And if you want a more personal touch, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, Pisces, someone in rising. Okay, let's cut the deck. Okay. Guardian angels, ancestors, give me 100% accuracy on what I need to know about Pisces, someone in rising, it's general romantic love life, singles, couples, anyone in between, or anyone who needs messages from the universe for their romantic love life for Pisces, someone in rising. Thank you. Interesting. So the strength card. I also did get this with another reading. I can't remember which one it was. So the strength card represents taking control of your carnal passions, you know, balancing yourself up, uh, being brave, you know, um, being in charge, going forward, moving forward. It also represents a Leo. So there could be a Leo involved here. Guardian Angels Ancestors, let me have a couple more cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for their romantic love life. Single couple, whoever needs messages from the universe, for their, anyone in between that needs messages from their universe for their general romantic love life for the October 1st. Thank you. Yeah, there was, there's definitely a matching for the cross watchers. This is definitely matching another reading that I've seen or done so far. Uh, this is the two of wands. Now this one, unlike the other one I was looking at, somebody was mentally stuck in their head. This one's actually an action towards a choice with the two of wands. You see the person has the world in their hands. They're moving forward. They're stepping forward into that choice. Fire is an action. Okay. Pisces, someone in rising. Pisces, someone in rising. Show me the card I need to see for their general romantic love life, singles, couples, or anyone in between. They need messages from the universe. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, some came out. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune. You know, it seems to be a pretty lucky month for some people. Uh, for some reason, the Wheel of Fortune is coming out. It's starting to be a theme this month. Quite a few of the signs for the week of the 1st to the 7th. Something is turning in your favor surrounding a choice maybe a fire sign or maybe you're just having courage to make the decision that you made to make because of the fact that you know things are turning in your favor all right who's coming towards pisces someone arising single couple or whoever needs messages whoever in between who needs messages from the universe for the romantic love life october 1st to the 7th 2018 thank you Ooh. I like this. Now I understand why you have to make a choice. Look at that. It is a new offer of love. New offer. That's the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Oh my God. Wow. And at the bottom of the deck, you don't feel that burden anymore in your mind. Something was on your mind burning and maybe you were focused on trying to find that love partner. Wow, Pisces. Yeah, look at that. I cut the deck. Look at that, I have two cards here. So, something to do with soulmate, twin flame situation, definitely love, choices in love. That explains the two of wands, yeah. And then this ace of cups, wow. This looks like it could be a twin flame soulmate connection here. All right, Pisces, someone rising. Yeah, you're gonna make a decision on these choices what I said I wonder if this is going to be a fire sign you're going to take control with the magician in choices okay why is the strength card here please why is the strength card here oh man that's beautiful the empress oh my god I think it is a Leo the empress the empress represents love fertility abundance oh my god yeah, and then you have the Ace of Cups. I think maybe Leo Pisces. 
Wow. Why else is a strength card here, please? See if I can get an, an actual sign. Someone's taking a leap of faith. Oh my God. This is brand new, by the way. This is not something old. This is brand new. This is something new coming in. Something new that the universe is... This is beyond your control. You, you are lucky this month, Pisces, or this week, Pisces. This is a leap of faith. Something new. Surrounding love. Wow. Ace. See, ace, something new. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here for Pisces, someone arising? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay. So maybe through this choice, you're going to leave someone out in the cold, or maybe you've been left out in the cold in the past with the five of wands. Why else is this two of wands here? Two of wands, please. Why is the two of wands here? Gotcha. So I think what happened is someone from your past left you out in the cold. The universe has stepped in with the Wheel of Fortune and brought you someone new. Now, I know uh, the monthlies I did with X Return, I don't remember which one it was, but it was interesting because it definitely felt like the universe stepped in. So I wonder if it was you guys. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, Ace of Wands, new offer of passion. So they're, they're bringing you something new, for sure. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? This is, this is good. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Really good. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a water sign coming towards you. Well, you are a water sign, technically, Pisces, but I don't, maybe it could either be, could be a Leo, or it could be another water sign, but this is you, though, Pisces. This is coming towards you, maybe another Pisces. This, this water sign could be, it could be a Cancer, it could be a Scorpio, or it could be a, another Pisces like you, but this is definitely brand new coming towards you i think more or less i'm leaning more towards it being a leo a fire sign because the card when i clarified it had love and the full card taking a leap of faith towards you okay so let's get some romance angels on this a let go of control issues that's interesting New love, didn't I say that? New love, let go of control issues. Oh my God. So that's what you're trying to say by the spirit. So they are trying to say with the strength card, let go of control issues. Let this new person come in. Maybe it is a water sign. Hmm. Somebody from your past left you out in the cold. That's why you're in the situation. Pisces, someone arising. Pisces, someone arising. Do you have some kind of religious factors involved with uh, you? Maybe you aren't letting go of control factors because maybe of religious issues. All right. Just wanted to put that out there because, again, at the bottom of the deck, it says new love. Why do we have the Ace of Cups here as if I don't know? If I see someone arising, tell me about what I need to know. The romantic love life. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Guardian angels and answers just make sure I get 100% accuracy. Whoa. Holy crap. All right, so it looks to me with this Wheel of Fortune coming towards you, this Ace of Cups, this could potentially go into something very serious for you guys with engagement card coming out. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So whatever happened where you were left out in the cold by your ex, you were left out in the cold by this person. There was a choice that was made that now has brought you to this moment where you have this new individual coming in because of 
the universe. Wow. That is amazing. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it didn't resonate with you, you can always get a personal reading with me at my website, jenniferwalkerz.com. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, by the way, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, so come find me. I would love to check you guys out and talk with you. So um, anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next week for your next reading, and I'll be getting my monthlies out. And I also check out some of the other videos. I have a lot of like spiritual topics and stuff that I talk about. So check those videos out too. All right, guys, I love you. Have a great week, October 1st to the 7th. Looks pretty good to you.